Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Discover 2016 Las Vegas. Brought to you by Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Now, here are your hosts, John Furrier and Dave Vellante. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here live in Las Vegas for HPE. E stands for Enterprise, HP Enterprise. Discover 2016, this is SiliconANGLE Media's theCUBE, our flagship program, where we go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, my co-host Dave Vellante. Three days of wall-to-wall -wall coverage. We're on the, kind of the tail end of day three. Our next guest is Nick Newton, Director of Mobile Engagement for Aruba, an HPE company. Welcome, welcome to theCUBE. Thank Cube. you very much, thanks for having me. Um, so obviously Aruba, you guys are on the mobile side. Big discussion we had with Michael Tenefos earlier about um, Levi Stadium sure. in yeah. our neck of the woods of Silicon Valley, uh, Venue Next, John Paul's company that runs that. Yeah. They do a lot of other fan experience, mm -hmm. stadium stuff for yeah. other folks as well. Mobile's a big part of that. I want to I talk about specifically the, the business impact, not just the fan experience at this point, but the, the business sure. reason that you guys are enabling, the business problem you solve that you enable them to do. Yeah, absolutely. So specifically at Levi Stadium, what's really interesting is that, like you said, not only are they providing a great fan experience, uh, which keeps people coming to the stadium. You know, I, I could sit at home and watch a game on my 60-inch flat screen TV on my couch and, and have a great experience, right? But what's going to keep me coming back to the stadium uh, time and time again to experience it there? Well, one piece is that fan experience through the mobile app. Um, you know, in addition to that, uh, what they see is when you go to the game, what you want to do is watch the game. I mean, you, that's the, the whole point of you being there. Uh, but you're also there to order a hot dog, order a beer, you know, whatever. Get a, get a Niners hat. Exactly, some merchandise. Um, so you want to order those things, but you don't want to miss out on the game. So the app allows you to do that right from your seat um, and then get those things either delivered to you or go pick them up at an, ex at an express lane. And so finding your way to the right place to order it, um, seeing a blue dot follow you as you're, as you're going there, seeing that map, that's all provided by the Aruba technology. So, I mean, a lot of people that can relate to this would, would think of like an Uber app where you can see the car coming. Sure. Yeah. Similar kind of concept, but it's not just the wireless that you guys provide, because there's some pretty badass wireless that you guys deploy, of blanket yeah. coverage right. of the stadium, which is, by the way, phen phenomenal bandwidth and throughput, so congratulations. But there's also beacons and other things. This is kind of a new hot trend. Can you just take a minute to explain this beacon thing, the low and how that really ties into this location services and, and why it's important? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the awesome benefits of beacons is the, the accuracy and the latency uh, that they provide in terms of the location. So, um, you know, when I, when I, when I want to look at a map and get directions, uh, you know, somewhere in a space, in a public facing uh, venue, um, you know, I, I don't want that blue dot to be five minutes behind me. I need it to be right where I am. And that's one of the, the real benefits of Bluetooth is it provides that. Um, it provides that you know, right up to date uh, blue dot, just, you know, just like GPS outdoors, um, but in an indoor environment. And, 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 it's, and it's BLE that's providing that. Okay. And, and the impact of the business is what? I mean, more user satisfaction? It is. What's it, some of the things it, that you're it, seeing it, come it, out it of It is, um, but like in Levi Stadium specifically, what they're seeing is, is um, being able to have that experience means people are ordering more beers, they're ordering more hot dogs, uh, you know, then, and that's what we've seen at Levi Stadium is, is, a, is a huge jump um, in the amount of, you know, concessions ordering that people are doing. Uh, so there's, you know, there's a soft ROI, which is the experience, but there's a hard ROI as well. And you've got, so you got 1,200 beacons? In, there's about 1,200 beacons at Levi and, Stadium. And the, the signal of the beacon is adjustable to what distance is it? Yeah, so um, on, on the location side, so what's providing that blue dot, you know, the beacons are, it, it, they have a, around uh, somewhere between a 30 to 50 meter range, uh, you, know, de, you know, depending on the situation and the RF and the space exact specifically. Um, and so uh, putting those all out on the stadium blankets that whole stadium. Now, you can also use beacons uh, to trigger location-based notifications. Right, so if I want to welcome someone to the stadium or maybe send a coupon or a promotion, and those are absolutely configurable. So I can, I can take it down to like a meter, um, a couple of feet, uh, or I could even have it like 100 feet, uh, depending on you know, the use case and, and what makes sense. And you're pushing content only, like for some of the content, can't leave the stadium, right? Sure. Right, right. right. So, and you're able to adjust that. Absolutely, yeah. Because it's it's location based. Right. Um, okay. So, for an enterprise, though, let's go back down to the enterprise. They have they're used to campuses and now remote office, all that stuff's sure. going on. How does this translate to the traditional enterprise? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, in some ways, that's um, I wouldn't say surprising, but it's it's been one of the use cases which we see 
uh, really pick up in, the, in you know recently. Finding uh, conference rooms. Finding conference rooms. <laughs> it's finding uh, no conference doubt. rooms. <laughs> oh, it's absolutely the case. So you know, in the in the in the kind of the new style of business where we don't, might not have offices, some places you don't even have a desk. You have a hot desk, right? I get a desk for the day. That's it. Conference rooms um, become a, a hot commodity. So what happens is people will schedule conference rooms maybe you know, for a month or you know, throughout the year or something like that, and then they don't use them. So if you're looking at your utilization, you might say, we don't have any conference rooms. They're all booked. But you actually go and look, and, and, they're, and they're, nobody's using them. So using you know, a conference room scheduling system um, in connection with beacons, uh, you can do things like unbook the room when nobody uses it. So it's, it's booked for a meeting. You know, we have a meeting going on. We decide, ah, oh, let's go get lunch or something. Uh, we don't go show up in the room. Nobody's there. It'll unbook the room and make it available again to be used. So yeah, that's a huge use case for sure. And so in terms of like the future, you guys have roadmap, obviously. Where are you guys going to be taking the, that next digital asset transformational yeah, uh, pivot yeah, point? Good question. So uh, you know, one of the features that we uh, just recently launched was the ability to not only see um, your own location, but to share that location with others. Um, so you can imagine, in a conference setting, it's, it's ideal. We, we actually launched it at uh, the, the Aruba conference at Atmosphere, um, uh, and, and it was a hit. So you know, you're here at the conference, not only seeing where I am, I'm a little lost, you know, maybe I, I don't know where I am on the showroom floor, but you know, I have colleagues, I have friends, um, I, I, maybe, it's, maybe it's more work related, or might, might be at the party last night, right? I want to find someone. And instead of calling and texting, where are you? Uh, you, know, you, you? We've all had that experience. What if I could just send my location and share my location with others? Um, and so, the, so that's what the technology is. So enables. here at HPE Discover, there's beacons here? There are beacons here. How yep. many? Yeah, there's about 1,500 beacons here um, in, the, in the conference center and the kind of the surrounding conference areas, you know, all the floors. So we're in the back in, the, in, in, in media row. Yep. So tell the story. You got lost and you did the beacon, you fed directions. Yeah, you know, I was on my way to talk to you guys and, and I, you know, I wasn't exactly sure where this, uh, where this the media place was. And so I was over at my booth. I just searched for it, found where it was, got directions, and the blue dot followed me the, the whole way here. And that was through the event app. And that was through the main event app. Exactly. So this is going to proliferate, no doubt, in your mind. This is going to be one of those things where beacons have so much value around location services. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so what's the what's the tipping point in your mind for for uh, the the marketplace to take this to the next level? Is there a kind of KPI or benchmark you say? Hey, it's it now. It's all about the use case, right? Exactly. And so, like I was just mentioning, in in sort of the enterprise environment, we see these use cases like conference room finding, um, conference room booking. Uh, that, that, that people, you know, it's, it's a pain point, right? People are saying, that's a problem. I've experienced that myself. We got to have it. Uh, as we see those, um, those pain points come along and uh, you get identified and then addressed using the technology and the different verticals, we'll continue to see, you know, a, a lot of adoption. All right, so I got to ask you about the event here. What's the coolest thing that you're seeing here at the event? Uh, here at the event? Um, Which on the spot there? Yeah, great. You know, I, I think the uh, the composable hardware uh, from from HPE is amazing. Uh, you know, I got a kind of a demo of that. Uh, it, it's sort of you know, uh, it's a little it's kind of sort of outside you know my scope of knowledge. And I, I watched that and I just think that it's that's insane. Uh, I can't believe they can do that. And what blew you away? Just how easy it was, or yeah, how easy it is? Yeah, and how they're you know ultimately I think uh, where they're headed um, is making it so that the infrastructure. Um, is not, um, as, as a developer, I don't have to worry about the infrastructure, right? Um, it, it just becomes something I can develop around. And today, you know, I might have to give a, get a DevOps person involved, I got to have someone who's worrying about my servers. As a you need to find a meeting room to have a meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to do that, I got to do, do that first. <laughs> uh, but I don't want to worry about that, I just want to develop. Yeah, yeah, uh, and exactly. they're enabling that, so I think that's pretty And that cool. takes away time, frees up the conference rooms, sure. no meetings involved. Sure. We sure. had Mark sure. Interandi, who's the SVP of the cloud group, said one yeah. of the KPIs of, uh, they, they see in the marketplace is less meetings about getting stuff done. Because the developers can just do it themselves. Yeah. So yeah. they don't have to have a yeah. meeting with this guy. Hey, yeah. what are you going to do yeah. over here? Producing yeah. this software. You give them all the tools and they'll do it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And that's totally true. Abstract away that layer. What about sure. what you guys are talking about here at the show? What's resonating? Obviously, the Aruba uh, announcement with HPE coming together was phenomenal acquisition. Yeah. Dave and I have been glowing about it for over a year now. And right. we, we, see, we saw the wireless over the top for IoT backhaul opportunities. Of course. We saw the security stuff. What's resonating for you guys here at the show? What's trending? 
uh, yeah. in the booth, if, if you will. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's specifically what you mentioned. Um, specifically for mobile engagement, again, it's, it's um, enabling that capability and, and um, you know, I, I would say probably, the, it's funny you mentioned it, the number one use case that um, are hearing is, is that corporate campus environment. People want People want to find the conference rooms. Um, people want to uh, have the that overlay, situation. The overlay network, if you will, yes, for remote for sure. access, for, yep. for mobile. Yep, for mobile. Mo mobility generally, right? Yeah. I want to be able to access um, the content that I want on any device, in any place, at any time. And security, man in the middle attack, an old school technique, which we're, you know, still people use that old sure. school technique. Sure, sure. How do you guys handle that with tokens? You guys use encryption? How does that? Uh, yeah, so another, another product security. from Aruba is called ClearPass. Um, it's all about security. So. Uh, um, you know, it's a it's a great product. It handles all of those all of those concerns. Absolutely. All right, Nick. Thanks so much for hey, taking the insight and share on the cube here. Aruba Wireless hot acquisition, obviously making its way. Beacons. You know, it's like plastics. It's the future. You know, <laughs> <laughs> beacons. Uh, thanks so much. Um, this is the cube. We're here live in Las Vegas. I'm John Roy, Dave Vellante. You're watching the cube. Oh.